You don't need god tier mechanics to become an amazing fighter. But there are certain things you can do to ensure you get better at fighting. I'm going to be going over some of my favourite fighting scenarios today. If you want me to do any more specific tutorials in the future, comment what tutorial you'd like down in the comment section. And let's get right into it. One of my favourite things about fights is debating the opponent. And this is a perfect example of that happening right here. We see me approach the wall and I pull out my pickaxe only to pull out my shotgun straight away. This is debating an edit from the opponent. As you can see, the editor on me, and I managed to hit a fat 100 on them, which allowed me to finish up this fight pretty easily because I had the massive health advantage after that. This is just one way of testing whether the enemy's going to edit on you right away. And here are a couple of other examples of debating that I use regularly in fights. This next debating maneuver is editing out one side of the box like we've done here. We edited up, then we edited straight back down. Ben is looking confused up there. We then edited the floor and one pumped him. He thought we were going from the other direction, so when we came from that direction, it really surprised him. This is the final base example. We're both pretty low HP here, and I kind of walk backwards and drop off the edge. He thinks I've dropped down, but then I mantle at the last second and take him by surprise. He's got his build that because he thinks I've dropped, and this is a really easy kill from here. This is a great example of how mantling can be used for baiting. Now let's look at another massive point when fighting in Fortnite, which is pre-boxing. You can see in this clip that the player is moving to the left and you can see it through the build. So I instantly take doubles above the top of him and then place a the ramp and edit the ramp and one pump him. The same goes for this next clip, it's pretty similar and it's actually on the same player. I could tell he was going to go out the left here even if I couldn't see him because that is the only wall that's free inside that box. So that is the human mind's natural way out. Can I remind you if you're finding this useful, use code JKC in the Fortnite item shop as that is the number one way to support me. Let's get back into pre-boxing. When I shot this guy out and after he dropped, I saw him slowly move to the left. This is indication that he was coming towards me, so I placed a wall in front of me, and this happened to be the box that he was about to go in. So I edit the wall, get the cone and one of the walls, and he pretty much runs into that wall, and it's a free kill from there. Pre-boxing is all about awareness and thinking about where your opponent's going to go next. Speaking of thinking where people are going to go next, I see this box being built as I'm dropping from the sky. I then take the wall, and that is a free kill. You've got to be wary of where people are going and try to place the walls before they do. That is how you establish peace control. As a quick bonus tip, one of the best ways to improve at fighting is to free build often. You get used to a lot of different build moves, and if you don't have a map to free build in, you can use mine. The code's on the screen right now, and it is one of the best free build experiences you will ever have. You can play by yourself with up to four of your friends, and you get completely zero input delay. Go play it now, on to the next tip. A great way to counter people going up to the sky for all eternity is mantling. You can mantle onto people's 90s and old builds, and this makes it so you save so much mats and you're actually a lot faster going up. And since mantling sometimes bugs out and they can't hear you, it can be a great way to surprise a guy like this clip here where this guy was completely caught off guard. This one right here is not necessarily a trick, but it is very useful to know. So right here I get coned and he resets the wall. The wall is now 1 HP and I shotgun it and it takes him completely off guard as you can see and he ends up getting full box and bullied. This is because when you reset brick and or metal, it is one tap and you can immediately pickaxe it or preferably shotgun it so you can take it instantly. If you want to get good at fighting, pre-fires are a must. A pre-fire is when you wait for the wall to break or wait for a wall to be edited and then you shoot the shot as it happens. This is a great example of this here. The timing is crucial and it is great when you want to get a counter shot in the fight. He goes to jump in the box and pickaxes the wall and as it's breaking, I shoot my shot and hit him a fat one pump. This is a great one for controller players especially especially as it doesn't require a great amount of mechanics. You can learn to be a better controller player by watching this video here also. Go and enjoy it, it's a banger.